What's up? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Simon Trevita, and today I'm going to teach you guys some arrangement tricks. Okay, the first thing we gotta do is make a beat, preferably something that's flames, but you know. Two, three, four, chord, 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 chord. chord. <sighs> ah, da -da. We are blazing! That's it. That's all I gotta do. And this should speed things up a bit. Copy and paste. Okay, there should be enough stuff. The first trick to make your arrangements more interesting is to use ambience. So at the beginning, there's usually an intro, so I would take out some of the drums, just to let the main instruments play. And the problem with this is because it might sound a bit empty, so we're using ambience to fill up that space. Okay, so I found some ambience. And it also really helps set the mood. So the ambience is really easy. I suggest using it at the intro or parts where it slows down a bit. The next arranging trick is to use automation, and that means, um, when you control the prep, I don't know. <laughs> Controlling parameters, yeah, I guess. The good thing about automation is that you can control pretty much anything. Volume panning, reverb, pitch. And to automate anything in FL Studio, all you have to do is right click a knob and it should say create automation clip. So first I'm gonna do some volume automation. Create automation clip for the FX. And I want it to go down when the beat comes in. I'm gonna make another one for the synth bass. So it comes up. So now they're kinda trading places. For the belts, I'm putting this patch of effect tricks. So we have this, and we're making it this. I'm going to automate this as well. So for this one, we're automating the dry wet knob. So if it's all the way at the top, that means it's wet. So we're gonna bring it down and we're gonna have it slowly go into it once the beat comes in. I put a filter on the hi-hat loop. So we're gonna automate this as well. And I'm doing the automation clip like this in case I want to turn it off and on again in a different part of the song. So the next trick you can use is mute, and that's pretty much just turning off your instruments at some points. In a lot of popular beats, there's some parts where they just kind of cut it out like this and leave it empty. And this is really good if you're a rapper because that's where you could put your really hard punchline in. And it doesn't have to be completely empty. Sometimes you could just leave one instrument there. Now this next trick, I'm not really sure if there's a name for it, so I'm gonna just call it the delay drop. So let's say this part is our drop. That's what the 808 comes in. That's what the hi-hat comes in. Really high energy part. So instead of it having just drop on the downbeat like this, we can delay it a bit. So normally people would take out the first 808 and the kick and they just shift it over to the next one. So this is the next kick. And I'm gonna just move it there so it comes in there. And you know what? I'll put the hi-hat there as well. Now you get something like this. last trick, in my opinion, the most important is to add risers and fills. I hope you noticed when this beat dropped, it was kind of weak, and the risers and the fills are going to give this so much more energy. Now, luckily for you guys, I just released my first official sound kit. It's called Uppers, and it focuses on pretty much risers and fills. So let me show you guys how much energy we can put in this beat by just dragging and dropping a couple of these. I'll put one of these on. There you go. It's not a lot of work, but it gives your beat so much more energy. Like, do you guys have any idea how much harder a snare hits if you put a little riser in front of it? Okay, let me show you then. Okay, listen to this. Let's put another fill here and we'll cut these off. We can have a crash on the downbeat. We can have a riser before the drop. We can have a riser during the fill. So now that you get the gist, 
Let's arrange this thing. watching the video hope you enjoyed it the full beats in the description also go check out my first official sound kit uppers i'll leave that in the description below as well and i'll see you guys soon if you have any suggestions leave a comment if you like this video leave a like if you really like this video subscribe if you didn't like this video leave just leave get out of here